Hi guys, Ryan Cavalieri here. Today we're going to be talking about the OGO 9800 hauler bag that I received from XTR Products. I travel all around the world racing RC cars, so I'd like to show you guys how I organize all my parts, how I pack my bag. So let's roll it down, unzip it, and get into it. Now that we have the bag unzipped, the first compartment I'd like to show you is just on top of the bag. So let's unzip it. And what I keep in here is my paintbrush and my drill. These are the first things I just get out of my bag. So let's flip open the bag and see what I have inside. In this first compartment right here, it's the mesh side. And I keep my calipers. It seems like it's a perfect fit for that. In the center, I keep my rags. And in this long compartment, I store my one-up racing pit mat. So that's it for this side. So I'm gonna leave this down. So now let's go into the main hauler area. I have three Plano boxes. I keep these all individual for the cars. So I have my two wheeled parts, my four wheel parts, and my stadium truck parts. So let me show you how I keep one of the boxes. So inside of here, I like to keep basically my diff adjustment parts. I like to keep my pistons. I have some diff parts, tie rods. Uh, bulkheads, bumpers, front shock towers, basically anything that you can fit on top. I like just to put as many things as I can. Then inside I keep my arms, uh, my transmissions, uh, some battery weights, front wings. I keep my side rails in here. Basically all the little bit bigger parts I fit into the box inside. These Plano boxes are great. I probably have organized my parts for over a decade now in them, and they always hold up really, really well. You can find them at Home Depot, Amazon, range from about probably $10 to about $20. So that's how I store all my parts. The next thing up is how I pack my charger and some accessories. This is also another OGO product. This is their goggle bag. I believe Cody Numendal was the first guy to have one of these at the track, and as soon as I saw it, I said I gotta have one. So this is how I pack my much more charger in here. I have a lipo sack and I keep my batteries in there for safety. Then in this compartment, I keep all my charger leads and power cables. And in the top right here, I keep all my wire crimping tools and I'll also put some receivers or whatnot. And that's what I keep inside of here. Moving on to my next storage compartment is where I keep all my screws. These are really cool because you could fit a lot of screws and whatnot in here. So on one side I have all my steel screws, the next side I have all my titanium, then I have all my ball studs, and then I have some tie rods in the center and some other parts. So that's for that one. Then I have one more I have where I can put all my springs I have some diff parts in here, and these are really cool. I have basically all my diff parts for my four-wheel drive, all organized. I have some set screws or whatnot, and then I have some of my inserts. And in this next one, I keep my ball set washers. This is another cool little item to have. It keeps your stuff really clean and organized. Then the next one is, I always have to have a stereo box with me, so I store my JBL audio in here. So that one's that. The next one is my shock pump. I have this just floating here. And then I have my blue shock towels. Can't go very far without those. And then the last one up is my shock bag. And this is from XTR Oils. And I keep all my fluids inside of here. So I have basically all my XTR fluids. I do have some AE shock oil as well. Now that you guys got to see how I pack my bag, this bag is set and ready for 50 pounds. Can't wait to get back racing again. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come.